Welcome to the presentation about the BA program in second language teaching. So if you're planning to teach English or French as a second language, that's the right program for you. Same thing if you're planning to eventually go to the Faculty of Education. Again, this program is a great choice. So this program is a collaboration between the Faculty of Education and the Faculty of Arts. So there are two coordinators that are directing the program. So one of them is Marie-Josée Vignola. So it's me, that's the voice you're hearing right now. And I'm from the Faculty of Education and I'm working with my colleague, Marie-Claude Dansereau of the Faculty of Arts. There's many career opportunities for our graduates. Um, a lot of our graduates uh, end up being English or French teachers or school administrators, language assessment specialists, pedagogical material developers, researchers in second language, authors of language policies, etc. But I must say that most of our graduates become uh, teachers. You might ask yourself, what are my options? What are the possible paths? Can I create my own path? So there are many possible options when you do this program. I mean, you can build your own program. You can design it according to what you wanna do after. So I'm going to talk about four options and all the options have 120 credits. So the first option is to do an honors BA with a specialization in second language teaching. So if you look at the colors on the diagram on the right, the burgundy represents elective courses. The lime green turquoise is the basic skills courses like English courses, philosophy courses, or AHL courses. And the dark green is the disciplinary course. It would be the course with the, cor with the course code DLS, which corresponds to the second language teaching. The second option is honors BA with specialization in second language teaching with a minor. So you see the minor is in pink. So that would be like a specialty that you would add on top of your second language teaching. The third option would be an honors BA with a major in second language teaching and a major in another field. The fourth option is an honors BA with a major in second language teaching and a minor in another field. So it's similar to the previous one, except that in a minor, you have less courses than in a major. So you can see the proportions in the diagram are a little different. So if you're planning to teach at the high school level, you will need to have two teachables. For example, you can be an English teacher as well as a history teacher. Well, you will need then to accumulate the credits for both teachables. If you're planning to teach at the elementary school level, you don't need teachables per se, except if you're planning to become a French immersion teacher or a core French teacher. Throughout the program, you'll be discovering, exploring and practicing many facets of second language teaching. I will not talk about disciplinary courses. I will present few courses of the program and it will be an occasion for you to meet some of the professors. So the first course is a DLS 2101. So when you see a two in front of the course code, it at the beginning of the course code, it means it's a second language, a second year course, sorry. If it was a one, it would be a first year course. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Teresa Farsi. I teach uh, in the second language teaching program, also known as DLS. Uh, one of the courses that I uh, usually teach is DLS 2101. This course focuses on uh, language learning theories for teaching, listening, and reading. I like this course because students learn how to put the theoretical concepts covered in the course into practice to develop pedagogical activities and lesson plans for teaching, listening, and reading. Students get to complete a variety of interesting tasks, activities, and assignments, both collaboratively and individually. Um, I hope to see you in this very interesting course soon. Thanks. Hello, everyone. The second course I will present, or that will be presented is DLS 2102 Speaking and Writing. Hi, my name 
is Mimi Masson, and I teach the DLS course Speaking and Writing in Second Language Education. So in this course, we cover key concepts in teaching speaking and writing through inclusive and anti-racist education practices. I like to use an experiential approach when I teach, which means I don't only lecture, I ask students to take part in doing some of the activities they might use with their students, like writing a plurilingual poem. This way, DLS students get to see what it's like to actually do these activities. My students interact with authentic resources created by second language learners or even work directly with students who are learning English so they can get some hands on experience. Students will leave the course with a solid understanding of teaching speaking and writing in different contexts, some concrete strategies for teaching and activities they can use in the classroom. I look forward to working with you. You will now hear about a, th a course in the third year course, Initiation to Language Assessment. Hello, my name is Beverly Baker and I teach a course called Evaluation of Second Language Confidence. Um, evaluation is a lot more than tests. You will learn how to do language tests in this class. You'll learn how to make a multiple choice question that's really beautiful, for example. <laughs> But evaluation is a lot more than that. Uh, evaluation and assessment of language is about collecting information to see whether or not students have learned what you've taught. So you have to learn how to incorporate assessment and instruction together. So we'll spend a lot of time working on that together. So uh, as you can see in the DLS courses, there's always a link between theory and practice. And uh, that's kind of the way it is for all the courses. But I will talk about one last course, which is a bit different. It's the DLS 4100. That course is taken in fourth year. And it's, um, it was really a request from the students in the program because the program in second language teaching started in 1992. So it's still considered a fairly young program. And every program at the University of Ottawa is evaluated by external evaluators every seven years. So that's to make sure that we do the right thing and also to help us improve the program. So in the first evaluation, which was done at around year 2000, students requested to have some type of internship, a practical experience. That is why we decided to offer that course. So that course is a 25 hour internship that can be done at the elementary school level, high school level, level or with adult education. Um, it's an application of theoretical and methodological principles of second language education within a professional setting. So you will go in classrooms to do classroom observation. You will have assignments to do, but you will also come back in class on campus and discuss with your professor and the other students. So it's guided. You're not left alone on your own and it's a, and a very good experience. And then when you're applying for the faculty of education, you can write that in your statement of experience that you have that previous experience before coming to the faculty of education. So the admission requirements for this program are the follow. Uh, you need to have a language proficiency test uh, in the language you wish to teach. So there are different steps. First, you submit your application and then there's a link for the test that will be sent to you. So you take the test as soon as you receive the link because the test is kind of triggering the whole admission process. So if you don't do it, nothing moves. So if you do the test then it gets the process going and then students will receive an offer of admission once the test has been taken and passed. So um, students that are preparing, who are preparing to teach French as a second language must take the majority of their courses in French and students who are preparing to teach English as a second language must take the majority of their courses in English. So you need to have an excellent knowledge of the language you're intending to teach. And to help you, you can take courses, if you're planning to teach French, courses with a course code FLS or FRA. If you're planning to teach English, you can take courses with the course code ESL or ENG. Upon graduation, well, it seems far from, you know, about now for you now, but, you know, that's something to think about and plan ahead. Most of our students go to the Faculty of Education at the University of Ottawa, 
And by the way, we have 40 places reserved for the second language teaching program graduates for both our teacher education program, which is the program to train teachers that are planning to teach in English speaking schools or formation à l'enseignement, which is the program where we train teachers to teach in French speaking schools. Some students decide to do graduate studies, to do a master's degree. So you can do a master's degree in many fields, it can be in education, bilingualism. These are the two most popular ones, but you can do it in other fields. So all that to say, after you BA in second language teaching, you can do your BA, Bachelor of Education right away, teach a few years, come back, do a master's degree. Other students do their BA and then they do an, a master's degree right away and then they, they do their BA after. So you do it in the sequence you really like according to you know, what you wanna do. If you have any questions about the program, you can also contact the student association because I am giving you a professor's perspective, you know, a coordinator's perspective. But if you have questions and you would like students to answer your questions, I highly recommend you contact the uh, president of the association the address is there on the screen. So it's dls.prez at artsuottawa.ca. And then you can ask your questions. So I hope I answered some of your questions. And uh, thank you for listening and see you in September.